Leia Salonga has starred in some of the biggest Broadway shows of our generation, but now she's taking on a role she never has before, producer. The Tony winner is part of a landmark team producing the new musical Here Lies Love, which she's also starring in for a limited time. Welcome back. Good to see you. Thank you. It's great to see you again. It's so good to see you. And I was so much fun to see this show, and I learned a lot, too. It was an entertaining right. show, but also you learned something, too. Um, and it covers the rise and fall of Amelda Marcos. Um, and you grew up during this time right. in the Philippines. During so, martial law. So what was it like revisiting that time in your life through this show? Interesting. Yeah. Um, I found myself during the rehearsal process, you know, having flashbacks or being thrown back into my childhood, early teenhood. Um, and when the EDSA revolution, the people power revolution happened, yeah. it started on my 15th birthday oh my God. It's um, and I was having time of exactly your life. I was having a party and then we got the phone calls the kids have to go home because the tanks are rolling out oh on the thoroughfare where everything happened so wow. it, it felt like okay it feels like it was so long ago and it also feels like yesterday it just happened yesterday yeah, yeah wow what an interesting thing then to be such a part of this show too I'm sure it means a lot to you you're making right. your producer debut right in the show which I mean it, this is just incredible. You've yeah. done so much on Broadway, but the fact that you're doing, doing it's another first for you on Broadway as yeah. a producer in this theater that you, that you started. You made that your where Broadway, I made my Broadway debut. debut in that theater, and, and then I'm making Saigon. my producing debut in yes. that same theater. And I saw you in that theater in Miss Saigon. A long time ago. Let's not, let's let's not, not say it was, how long ago that was no. because we would be revealing way too much. Yes, and it was one of the first shows I ever went to, and I just remember being like, wow, she is incredible. Thank but you. It has to have extra significance for you to be able to do those two firsts at the same yeah, place. Yeah, it's, it's incredible that I get to return to what was my very first Broadway home, yeah. and it, that's how exactly how it felt like. It felt like a homecoming when I walked into the theater for the first time as a performer in a gajillion years, and then to walk in for the first time as a producer and as a first-time Broadway producer. It's crazy to be able to do this, yeah. and one of my friends wrote and and with the craziness of so much that was going on with the show, it's like, I hope this doesn't turn you off from producing. I'm like, no, I want to I want to do this yeah. some more and see what other stories I'll be able to help usher into yeah. Broadway and hopefully be able to, you know, bring in more stories of people of color. They don't have to be Filipino stories, yeah. but but stories of people that need to be highlighted on Broadway. Yeah, and I, you're seeing so much more of that now, too. Yeah. Um, but you play Aurora Aquino, and right. you sing this song. It's called uh, They Will Not See Me Cry. Interesting yes. that, you, that you sing that <laughs> it's song. It's a line. That's the line from a song called Just Ask the Flowers. Yes. And it's, it's, it's one of those things where, okay, I have to say this line, and I have to try not to actually cry yes. while singing this line. But while the audience is crying and I, and around I've seen, you. And I've seen a couple of friends of mine in the audience, like, like I'll be able to catch a couple of people's eyes, and I'm like, they, they have this look of, yes. on their face, and like, oh, I totally got you. And it's, it's, it's incredibly emotional, because yeah. it's, it's an expression of tragedy, because I mean, my character just lost her son. Yeah. But at the same time, it's powerful. She is, she is gaining power, and she has found the power to be able to say, "This is what's happened to my son." And she actually made the decision to, because I remember these photographs, yeah. to not have him embalmed or prepared for burial, so that everyone in the country can see, see what happened to him. Oh my God. Oof. Oh. That and I remember being 12 years old and seeing those pictures oh everywhere. Oh my gosh. Well, this is an immersive show too. And some it fans um, have taken that a little too far. A couple people went <gasps> backstage. They snuck backstage and yeah. wanted photos with you. But what do you want to tell people out there about the, the there's a, a line between there is. art and artist. There is. And we're human beings. Yeah. First of all, we need to rest. We need to take time for ourselves. When we say goodbye, when we make our curtain call and we head back to the room, that's, that's it. it. You have to give you your space. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, it's an exhausting thing to do a show. Even if I do sing one song, just one song, yeah. there's a lot that goes into it. The preparation that goes into it is the same as when I'm preparing to sing for two and a half hours. Right. So I think it's it started a conversation, I think, that has enabled a lot of artists to say, 
I need to protect my own boundaries yeah. yes, too. Yes, yes, absolutely. Well, you can catch Leah <laughs> in Here Lies Love now through August 13th at the Broadway Theater. Thank you so much for Thanks stopping Thanks for having by. me.